I'm here at Canberra Hospital this morning because we've just witnessed the sod turning for the new Capital Region Cancer Centre by the Chief Minister Katie Gallagher and our Federal Health Minister Nicola Roxon. This is a fantastic project with the Commonwealth Government contributing $29 million and the ACT Government contributing nearly $17 million. And what we will get is a world-class regional facility for serving the needs of cancer patients. It's a fantastic example of the Commonwealth and ACT governments working together. And over the next year or so, as construction takes place, um, we can be confident that people who get that really upsetting diagnosis of cancer will get the best possible treatment right here in Canberra and serving the regional, uh, the regional areas around Canberra. It's great news. It's our delivering on an election commitment. And I'm really proud to be part of this formal sod turning this morning. Well, we're doing a lot of things to tackle cancer in the Gillard government and we're really pleased that uh, Katie leads a government in the ACT that also has a very aggressive view about the way we should tackle cancer. And that involves a lot of prevention initiatives and screening initiatives. But we also know that some cancers are not preventable, that we need to be able to treat them quickly and well, and we need to be able to have the latest technology and treatment programs available to them. This centre will allow that to happen in Canberra. It means the Canberrans won't have to travel elsewhere. They feel confident about the quality of care. They're already receiving uh, very good care from the clinicians here in Canberra, but they'll have a dedicated, specialised cancer centre here to bring all of those different components of treatment into the one place, which is good news for people in Canberra and the surrounds. So that will stop the travel that, that had to happen to Sydney and Melbourne? That was a problem for us? Look, it, it absolutely will. Uh, there are some facilities that are not available, and many, many of them are, and I know that you can get top quality care in Canberra. Katie may want to be able to make those comments, but a comprehensive cancer treatment centre that is designed so that you can have outpatient services, so that you can have uh, chemotherapy and radiation treatments in the same place that can all be planned here, um, is a really important way of providing best practice care into the future. There will be some very rare cancers that people will still have to travel. Sometimes there will be one, one centre in the country that will treat a cancer that might appear for three people in Australia every year. Every cancer centre in every region will not be able to cover each cancer, but of course this is aimed to have the broadest reach possible for cancer treatments and of course for the majority of cancers that people will be diagnosed with here in the region. And will this centre sort of uh, cement Canberra's role as a regional provider? I absolutely think it will. I think Canberra is already a central regional provider. If you look at the statistics that Katie's talked to me about them often because uh, the ACT health services do provide care to a lot of New South Wales residents. Uh, that has been over time, you know, of course, the concern between uh, the ACT government and the New South Wales government, and quite rightly. This is a way to be able to design something that's got the capacity to treat those patients from the region, and I know that that will be being done cooperatively, and that's a, that's a plus for everyone. Um, I noticed on the back that the ACT is in one of the 176 new applications. Did the ACT not make any applications for that bus? Um, again, Katie may, may want to make a comment, but this has been a very big investment that was part of the regional cancer round, um, and we're really pleased that we've been able to fund this. We do have to look across all of the regions in the country. Some don't yet have services and support that they need, and they've made applications. So uh, in the previous round, for example, we didn't have any uh, applications on one one of the rounds we didn't have any applications from the Northern Territory because they've been very successful with a major project that was already supported. So that's not that surprising uh, when we're talking about smaller regions.